Microsoft Office is becoming Microsoft 365 with premium and free flavors. Welcome to Tech Mining. In this video we will show you how you can get Microsoft Office which includes some popular programs like Word, Excel, and PowerPoint entirely for free. It won't cost you anything. We'll also look at the most important differences between these two Microsoft Office suites so you can decide which product is right for you. Let's start the process by evaluating the free web version. Click the sign in icon. You can sign in with your email, phone, or Skype IDs. If you don't have an account, then click this create one link. This will bring you to this create account form, where you can create your account using your email address or phone number. You can also get a new email address to use later to access Microsoft 365. This is the interface of Microsoft 365 that you see after you sign in. Clicking this apps option will display all free apps you can use on this site. You have Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and even Clipchamp, which is a free video editor. You also have access to a bunch of these apps including Calendar, Forms, and OneNote. Another way to access these apps is by clicking this menu icon. The free Microsoft 365 version provides you with 5 GB of free space to store your files. This list at the bottom contains all your recent documents. And using this menu, you can open these files in a browser or in your desktop app. Click this create option to create a new document, presentation, or workbook. As you can see, each of these options comes with free templates. Let's create a Word document by clicking this option. A new document will appear on your screen in a new browser tab. As you can see all the menus and ribbons are similar to those, you are already familiar with. You can set mode and switch background. Change the document name from here. The document will be saved to OneDrive. The Dictate option lets you use speech to text to author content in Microsoft 365 with a microphone and reliable internet. The transcribe feature is currently only available on Word for the web. The transcribe feature converts speech to a text transcript with each speaker individually separated. The share option allows you to share the current document with your team members. In the open menu, you see a list of your recent documents. The Save As menu has several options to save your document. You can download the document to your PC and can also download it as a PDF. There is no save option here because the documents are saved automatically. You can create a new blank document from the Home menu. The same can be done using the New Menu option which also provides you with some free templates. The open menu lists your recent documents. Use this icon to open the apps gallery from where you can open any app. Click Excel to open Excel in a new browser tab. You can create a blank workbook and can also use these templates.
Note that all these apps are opened in new browser tabs. Office on the web is lightweight but surprisingly feature-rich, making it one of the best productivity tools available for free. Businesses and individuals looking for simple document, spreadsheet and slideshow creation and collaboration will find the free online apps more than sufficient. Let's have a look at the differences between the premium and the free Microsoft Office suites. At first glance, both Office suites look similar, with the familiar ribbon of functions up top. Only a few functions are missing from the online apps, and they may or may not be a deal breaker, depending on your use of a suite. These are the features that you can avail in the free online word. And these are the main missing features. Smart art and charts are not available in the free online version. The design and mailing features are also missing. You cannot use advanced collaboration and offline viewing and authoring as well. There are lots of Excel features available to you. Some of these features are available with limited functionalities. In online Excel, you cannot create external data connections and creation of advanced analysis views is also not available. In PowerPoint, you can embed presentation on web, insert online videos, present online through Skype and more. These are some features that are missing in the online free PowerPoint version. If you are using OneNote, then these are the features you can use for free. Here too. You do not have access to some features like advanced collaboration and edit embedded files. These apps are responsive and have enough features for individuals and even small businesses who are looking to create, edit and collaborate on basic documents, complex spreadsheets and engaging PowerPoints. That's it for now. Hope this video was helpful. Thank you for watching.